Do you have to leave the refrigerator door open? I'm getting a draft. I'm sorry. Maybe I should look for some food in the dishwasher. <laughs> you know, if a maniac broke in this house right now and shot me dead, Al wouldn't even know. I'd know. <laughs> I uh, look, you forgot their names. <laughs> Let go of my hair, you little psychopath. Die, call me bimbo. <laughs> oh, bud. I thought we talked about this before. What's that, Mom? You know, sneaking up behind your sister, pulling her hair, pretending to kill her. <laughs> you remember the effect it had on Grandma? <laughs> nobody likes it, nobody thinks it's funny, so cut it out, okay? Sure, Mom. Now go to school. He's not gonna cut it out, is he? I hate you. Good. Is this your little cactus? Uh-huh. Any particular reason you put it where the alarm clock used to be? <laughs> I thought it would dress up the room a little bit. Yes, yeah, she... Oh, gee, you know, I meant to tell you to be careful before you slammed your hand on the alarm this morning. Well, you didn't. Sorry. Wow. It's okay, I stopped the bleeding with your slip. <laughs> That's not energy fucking for Where are the kids? Oh, they've left. Oh, by the way, uh, Bud has show and tell at school today. The subject is, what does daddy do? So when you come home tonight, if there's a can of beer missing and you can't find the remote control, that's where they are. <laughs> well, I hope he brings that stuff back tonight. The Bulls are playing on TV. Oh, my God, you're kidding. <laughs> it's not as exciting as your cooking with Clyde the Cajun show, but at least it gives me a reason to come home. <laughs> Al, do you have to leave the refrigerator door open? I'm getting a draft. I'm sorry. Maybe I should look for some food in the dishwasher. <laughs> Oh, these two give it back to each other so much, you know, and I like you would think they'd hate each other, but like that's just their dynamic, man. That's just serious. Sure, I don't mind doing the shopping too. Anything else I can do to make your life a little easier? You could shave your back. <laughs> hey, that hair is there for a reason. Keeps you off of me at night. <laughs> Start. But tonight, I promise there will be food in the house. They'd be a nice each other. And juice. Right. Those kids. I hate wasting food. <sighs> yes, my little baby. <laughs> Have a nice day, honey. <laughs> There better be juice when I get home. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, man. Ain't that the truth. The box says nine because, well, uh... Look, lady, you're a nine. I can accept it. Why can't you? You're very fresh. No, ma'am, that's impossible. Because for the last hour, I've been trying to squeeze your foot into a shoe when I really should have been easing them into the box. <laughs> so no, I say I'm anything but fresh. Really By the way, you want to tell John Henry over there to give the $100 pumps a rest? Your ad says courteous service. But that's not my ad, man. That's the former owner's. He was killed tragically on this very spot when a size nine exploded in his face. <laughs> Come on, Arnold. We're leaving. I want a balloon. You've already got one. Uh, and she's wearing a big red dress or jacket yeah. that makes her look like Mind if I go to lunch? You just came from lunch. Yeah, technically. But biologically, I was in bed with some broth. <laughs> Luke, how can you be happy sleeping with every woman you meet? I don't know. But I am. <laughs> Luke Ventura, at your feet. No way, that would never happen in, the, in today's day and age. Right? Do you work What's here the... or are you just loitering? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I just have to say real quick, yeah. There's no way a brother just going up to... See, even the way he just approached her right there is that's given 1970s, 80s in that realm because there's no way you're doing that in 2024. 100%, man, because that is crazy. Even I just saw him do that, I was like, whoa. That's wow. That's wow. Things are different back then, man. Luke Ventura. Unless this is just like at your feet. Or, not actually what would happen. You guys let me know how you guys got approached or you or guys approached. Do you work guys. here or are you just loitering? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I help you? I'd like to see some shoes, please. 
Uh, let me guess. Uh, size sevens. Yes, how did you know? All women are sevens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a double entendre. I know you've been told this before, but you have the instep of a movie star. Really? <laughs> Boss. Hey, yeah. Meet Tawny. Al's married. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Listen is. now, I forgot to tell you. I got an extra ticket to the Bulls Laker game tonight. Court level. Wanna go? Hell yeah. You sure your wife will let you? Let me tell you something. No woman tells Al Bundy what to do. Oh. Hey, you. Get my shoes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, yeah. cigarettes. Is that what you're doing? You must have been, even a TV sweating. Hey, a little surprise for you. Oh. I'm going to the ball game tonight. Smart man. Al, huh? you're not going to the game tonight. Oh. Sure I am. See, let me explain something to you. I work all day. And when somebody works all day, they need to have some fun at night. Now, I don't actually expect you to understand any of this, oh. but trust me, I'm your husband. I know best. Well, isn't staying home with me fun? Right, right. <laughs> Don't wait up. Do you know that honeymoon couple that moved next door? No. Well, I invited them over. I thought I told you. You didn't. Look, uh, I worked hard all day. The last thing I want to do is spend the whole evening with people I don't know. Look, all I am asking is that we have some people over for one night and for you to boy. be nice. Oh, I'm going to be nice? How's this for nice? I'm not even going to be here. I'm going to game. All right, Al, fine. But before you go, I would just like to say three things. The bank book is in both of our names. The credit cards are in both of our names. Oh. And the stores are still open. Oh. Oh. Uh, so is that how Yikes. That's tough. Why didn't you get me juice? <laughs> Wow, hey, Loki, Peg be wearing the trousers, man. Hi, Mom. Dad, can I have five dollars? You know, bud, when I was a kid, I had to earn my money. Did you ever once think about trying to earn your money? Okay, Dad. Wait, was the door just open on my trip? You want to know who Kelly was with this afternoon? Who? <laughs> oh, the dynamic with kids and parents is even different, man. Just you know the kid out. they call Cobra? The kid with the sore on his mouth? Good job, son. Thanks, Dad. Where are you going? Joey's dad's waiting for me outside. We're going to the basketball game tonight. Mom said it was okay. Bye. Wow. The Lakers are in town. He really wanted to go. Uh... Hi, Mom. Dad, can I have ten dollars? Who were you with today? Nobody. Does nobody have a name? You know, Tom, Dick, Cobra with a sore on his mouth? Mm. Oh, Dad, it's not that kind of a sore. He just fell asleep with a cigar in his mouth. <laughs> what? You gave some to Bud, you have to give to Kelly, too. Remember, Al, no favoritism. Peg, she's going out with a guy named after a reptile. His real name is Stanley. They only call him Cobra because he has one painted on his van. And you find this acceptable? I've met him, and he's a very nice boy. Uh... <laughs> That's his horn. Isn't it great? I guess that's why I fell in love with him. Hi, Mom. Time not change, Mom. Time not change. You know, we must have done something right. We raised two great kids. I was agreeing with that one. I'm sorry, honey, I didn't hear you. I was just thinking of killing myself. He's <laughs> Not tonight, honey. We have company coming over. Uh, now, that must be Stephen Marcy from next door. Stephen Marcy? I'm gonna miss a game for people named Steve and Marcy. <laughs> I'm gonna hate these people. You will not hate them, they are very nice. If they were nice, they'd be dead and I'd be at the game. <laughs> Get the door. Get my juice. Yeah, there's tension. Hello, I'm Marcy. I'm Steve. You have a beautiful home. Yeah, so do you, come on in. <laughs> he hasn't even seen it. Howdy, neighbor. Yeah, 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 I hate these people. Why don't we sit down? <laughs> Gee, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed. I, I have nothing to serve you. Yeah, listen, if you're hungry, there's a store a few blocks away. <laughs> yeah, if you go, you can get me some juice, okay? Al's only kidding. He's just a little upset because I didn't have time to do the shopping. 
You know, Steve and I decided to share the household chores. Gee, that's oh. great. You that's see, good. Al, Steve helps around the house. Way to go, Steve. Sports. Uh, Marcy doesn't like it, and we decided we'll only do things we both like. Al is fuming right now. I feel that sports glorify violence and competition, and I don't think it's psychologically healthy. Ooh. When we have a child, we don't want it to grow up with that winning is the only thing attitude. Oh. A child is better off not being exposed to sports. You're going to neuter yeah, him not... too? <laughs> <laughs> Do you two uh, have any kids? Two. Where are they? I don't know. <laughs> hey, well, Marcy. Well, it looks like you've got a heck of a piece of clay here to work with. <laughs> We've been married 15 years. 15 years. Oh. Uh, well, what's your secret? Oh, no secret, really. Just to be considerate. Accept each other for what you are. Don't point out the fact that the hair he's losing on his head is now growing out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> and his ears. <laughs> and accepting the fact that nowadays it's harder to figure out where her chest ends and her stomach begins. Oh. <laughs> Me too. That's you know another one. thing that uh, you know another thing that makes women such a blessing to us. That's a rude one, though. It's like when you're sitting somewhere and they come over and they say to you, "What are you thinking?" And you start thinking, you know, if I wanted you to know, I'd be talking. <laughs> they and if it doesn't work, <laughs> what have you lost? <laughs> Tap water, please. Yeah, they are corrupting the neighbors, man. They are corrupting them. Two months in versus 15 years in is an interesting dynamic. I bet the first couple of weeks you were married, you went to bed at the same time. Oh, yes. Have you noticed how in the last month or so, he seems to be going to bed a little later and later? Oh, no. Why, yes. <laughs> how did you know? You're letting him slip away, Marcy. You've got a good thing going. Don't start letting him have a good time alone. But we still have a good time together. Then why is he staying up? Yeah. Damn. And I'm telling you, your son is gonna be a sissy, Mary, if you let that woman take away your sports. <laughs> Yeah, the no sports thing is my I used to love sports. Of course you did. You're a man. <laughs> and Steve, you can love it again. <laughs> I demand to know what you do late at night after I've gone to bed. Are you having fun alone, Steve? <laughs> No, I just like to stay up and think. What are you thinking? Well, if I wanted you to know, I... Oh, <laughs> uh, just about how much I love you. I'm going to the game next week with Al. My mother's coming over next week. Oh, God. Oh, yeah? She's gonna teach you how to bury me like she buried her three husbands. <laughs> Steve! <laughs> Are you implying one. that their suicides had something to do with mother? <laughs> oh. Well, if that's your attitude, then maybe I should just pack my bags and move in with her. Great. Then I could go to bed at a normal hour. <laughs> All right, Steve Rhodes, let's go. We're going home. It's time to redefine our relationship. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if that was their plan to get rid of them. Because if so, it works. Hey, it's going to be rough for him. Yeah. Well, it was rough for us, and we made it. <laughs> hey, you know what? Bud got an A in school today. No kidding? Yeah. <laughs> hey, 
hey, let's go out Saturday night. <laughs> you know what to eat, just me and you. Good? Sure, if you want to. Yeah, we haven't been to the captain's table in a long time. Oh, we always like it there. They have such a nice menu. Oh. Yeah. Peg is one smart woman. You want to go upstairs? But you wanted to watch the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I like the coffee there, too. <laughs> wow, okay.